So a woman has an abnormal finding seen on her diagnostic mammogram or ultrasound, and if the finding is suspicious, we will then proceed to doing a biopsy. But there are various types of biopsies that we can recommend to a woman. If we see calcium deposits that have a suspicious morphology and distribution, we recommend a stereotactic guided core biopsy. For that procedure, the woman lies prone or on her stomach, and her breast goes through an opening on the table. <clears throat> We will then compress our breasts and take a picture that looks just like our mammogram, because we have to find those little white dots to match up. Once we find those little white dots, we'll then target those classifications. We'll take a radiograph of the specimen to make sure we see those little white dots, and we send that off to the pathologist. If it's under ultrasound and we see a solid mass that requires a biopsy, we do an ultrasound-guided core biopsy. In that situation, the woman is lying supine or on her back, and we target the lesion by looking at the ultrasound images, placing a needle within her breast. Now, patients who have positive findings from either a stereotactic biopsy or an ultrasound guided core biopsy, we will send them on for a breast MRI. And if on the breast MRI we see additional areas that require a biopsy, we will recommend an MRI guidance. Uh, uh, MRI-guided core biopsy. And in that situation, she's lying prone on her stomach, her breast goes into a, a breast coil, and we compress the breast and we target the abnormal finding. In all situations, once we're finished biopsying, we always leave a tissue marker, because we have to localize the site to verify that that's exactly where the abnormal tissue was seen. And this tissue marker is made of titanium, the same material we put in our hips and knees and shoulders when we're doing replacement, so patients shouldn't get too worried. And the size is 3 millimeters, so it's like the size of a tiny mosquito. She cannot feel it or see it, but we see it on imaging so that we can target the abnormal area if the woman needs to transition to a surgeon for a lumpectomy.